Dirk Hardig. Dirk Hardig, Dutch pronunciation, baptized October 30, 1580, Amsterdam, buried October 11, 1621, Amsterdam, was a 17th century Dutch sailor and explorer. Dirk Hardig's expedition was the second European group to land in Australia and the first to leave behind an artifact to record his visit, the Hardig Plate. His name is sometimes alternatively spelled Dirk Hardig or Dieric Hardig. Ernest Giles referred to him as Theodoric Hardig. Life Born into a seafaring family, he received his first ship's command at the age of 30 and spent several years engaged in successful trading ventures in the Baltic and Mediterranean seas. In 1616 Hardig gained employment with the Dutch East India Company, Dutch, Verenig de Oostindische Compagnie, Vogue, and was appointed Master the Inderat, meaning conquered or unity, in a fleet voyaging from the Netherlands to the Dutch East Indies. Hartig set sail in January 1616 in the company of several other book ships, but became separated from them in a storm, and arrived independently at the Cape of Good Hope, later to become the site of Cape Town, South Africa. Hartig then set off across the Indian Ocean for Batavia, present-day Jakarta, utilizing, or perhaps blown off course by, the strong westerly winds known as the Roaring Forties which had been earlier been noted by the Dutch navigator Hender I. K. Brouwer as enabling a quicker route to Java. On October 25, 1616, at approximately 26 degrees latitude south, Hardig and crew came unexpectedly upon various islands, which were, however, found uninhabited. He made landfall at an island off the coast of Shark Bay, Western Australia, which is now called Dirk Hardig Island after him. His was the second recorded European expedition to land on the Australian continent, having been preceded by Willem Jonsson in 1606, but the first to do so on the western coastline. Hardik spent three days examining the coast and nearby islands. The area was named Indratsland after his ship, although that name has not endured. Before Hardik left, he affixed a pewter plate to a post, now known as the Hardik Plate, on which he scratched the record of his visit to the island. Its inscription, translated from the original Dutch, read. Finding nothing of interest, Hardik continued sailing northwards along this previously uncharted coastline of Western Australia, making nautical charts up to about 22 degrees latitude south. He then left the coast and continued on to Batavia, eventually arriving safely in December 1616, some five months after his expected arrival. Dirk Hardig left the employ of the book upon his return to Amsterdam in 1618, resuming private trading ventures in the Baltic. Postscript. In 1619 Frederick de Houtman, in the book ship Dordrecht, and Jacob Dadel, in another book ship Amsterdam, sighted land on the Australian coast near present-day Perth which they called Dadelsland. After sailing northwards along the coast they made landfall in Indratsland. In his journal, Houtman identified these coasts with Marco Polo's Land of Beach, or Lokok, as shown on maps of the time such as that of Petrus Plantius and Jan Hagan van Linschoten. Eighty years later, on February 4, 1697, the Dutch explorer Willem de Vlaming landed on the island and by chance found the Hardig plate, which lay half buried in sand. He replaced it with a new plate which reproduced Hardig's original inscription and added notes of his own, and took Hardig's original back to Amsterdam, where it is housed in the Rijksmuseum. In 2000 the Hardig plate was temporarily returned to Australia as part of an exhibition at the Australian National Maritime Museum in Sydney. This led to suggestions that the plate, considered important as the oldest known written artifact from Australia's European history, should be acquired for an Australian museum, but the Dutch authorities have made it clear that the plate is not for sale. In 1966 and 1985 Hardig was depicted on Australian postage stamps, both depicting his ship. In 2016 the Perth Mint issued a 1 troy ounce, 31 grams, silver coin to commemorate the 400th anniversary of Hardig's Australian landfall. The island in Shark Bay, Western Australia, where he made landfall was named Dirk Hardig Island. In Amsterdam, Canberra and 14 other Australian towns, streets have been named in his honour. Australian